Okay, so how do you pull out your Luna or wrapped Luna coin on Coinbase after they suspend trading? Well, you can still withdraw it. Uh, if you have Coinbase wallet, you can send it there. Um, so that would be one option. Let's go look at the price of Luna coin. Uh, it is looking like right now we are definitely in a downtrend. That is confirmed. Uh, we are making lower highs and lower lows, unfortunately. So we are in a downtrend. But there's still money to be made if you guys are risky and want to play the market. Uh, I also kind of looks like we're in a falling wedge of some sort. Um, but yeah, you keep making lower highs. And actually, you're making lower lower highs, but higher lows. Um, so that is that does look somewhat good to me. Um, if I zoom out a little bit, from the very top to the very bottom, which was technically right there, that would be the measure move breakout. Then you take that over here. And I don't want to get too bullish just yet, but that would be absurd. 4,200%. Um, this very well might not play out, especially if Bitcoin decides it doesn't want to go up yet. And if we're just going to keep going sideways. But the measure move, if this target were to play out, is a 76% move to the upside. Um, and that's just kind of what it looks like right now. Uh, that would be the measure move is 76% if that were to play out. Um, as far as the RSI goes, I'm not as worried about that. One hour is high. The four hour is high as well. So I guess we should worry a little bit. But I think I, at this point, it's kind of a meme coin. So people are going to buy it. They're going to buy it. I think most people buying it probably aren't looking at the TA, but maybe I'm wrong. Um, but yeah, if that, I think this move could play out if Bitcoin can stay, stay stable around 30000 and. Even if the RSI is overbought, I still think this move can play out because there's a lot of hype around this coin still, even though it's going down. Um, the thing you cannot lose though and still be bullish on this is the two level. If you lose this level right here, the where you had a wick down to the other night and got close to today, if you lose that level, you are going to crash hard and it's probably going to make a new low. Um, if I go way out, you, you would probably at least come down to that local low that was ultimate bottom. And that'd be a hundred percent move to the downside. So you don't want that to happen. That's that's insane. Yeah, if you lose a two level, it's gonna have another major low. Uh then the time to get in would be here and you could have another 40x potentially. Uh so it's very volatile. I'm not definitely not saying that's gonna happen, but if, if you did lose a two level, it, crazy things could happen because then if you if you got a double bottom or something, to even get back to where we are right now, that'd be a 16x. So that's how you make a lot of money is by these local lows uh, after a big capitulation. But definitely not saying that's going to happen. Uh, what I think is more likely to happen is that you uh, break out of this falling wedge to the upside. If you break to the downside you, and you lose this two level low, I do expect a major, major correction to the downside. Is it going to be, be the ultimate move would be 100% move to the downside, which is quite crazy. So be careful. Be very careful. I would have stops in. Uh, if you're on Coinbase, you can do stop losses. I would probably not be buying this coin. Uh, I would not be buying Luna coin on Dextros because then you can't set a stop loss, but that's just me. So with that being said, that's kind of the two scenarios you play out. Um, you either break to the upside 76% or you break to the downside almost 100%. So with that being said, that's all I got. If you guys enjoyed this video, um, I appreciate if you like and subscribe. And let me know down in the comments what you guys think will happen. And with that being said, that's all I got. If something changes later today, I will definitely make an update video.